Crim 2 News at Noon begins now. Millions globally are being impacted by a cyber outage. We have the latest on the flights and businesses as things slowly come back online. And our heat wave does continue for this Friday, and it's only going to get worse for this weekend. We're tracking where our records stand versus our forecast. Plus, investigators shedding more light on what led up to the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Hi there, everyone. It is good to see you. Welcome to Crim 2 News at Noon. I'm Brandon T. Jones in for Laura Papetti today. This afternoon, we are continuing to track the major computer crowd strike outage that's impacting businesses globally. CBS, is, CBS News is reporting here in the U.S. over 1,000 flights have been canceled, while another 5,000 have been delayed. Worldwide, that number jumps up to 28,000 flights delayed. Now, at this moment, American Airlines said it was resuming flights. Delta also said it's resuming flights, some flights at that. I was at the Spokane Airport today and I was talking with some of the travelers. One man told me he was heading to Florida for a family member's memorial and will no longer be able to make that. I have a daughter and her son who flew out yesterday and they're waiting for me at their hotel in Jacksonville. I was going to rent a car and pick them up, but now they're, they're going to have to go by themselves. So I'm sorry. Other travelers I spoke with had similar experiences. One person told me they got the notification at 4.30 a.m. this morning that their flight to Rome was canceled. And now these outages were being felt worldwide. CBS's Bradley Blackburn explains how we got here and breaks down how the outage is affecting people around the globe. Long lines and confused passengers filled airports around the world, from Newark in New Jersey to Pittsburgh and Chicago, even India and Hong Kong. We were hoping that when we got here, it would not be canceled, but it is canceled. Thousands of flights were canceled or delayed. The FAA says Delta, American, United and Allegiant Airlines were all grounded for a period. They said, don't worry, all the flights are delayed. That's all they told me. The outage hit Australia particularly hard, closing down stores and forcing news outlets off the air for hours. It also affected IT systems used by the Paris Olympics organizing committee. The cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike says it was caused by a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows. We identified this very quickly and rolled back this particular content file. Obviously, uh, many organizations are, are impacted. The problem caused airlines to lose access to check-in and booking services during this busy time of summer vacations. Airlines are starting to recover, uh, but there are going to be some pain points over the next uh, 24, probably to 48 hours. The outage highlights the world's dependence on software from a limited number of providers. It can cause cascading outages, not just for uh, the people who are direct CrowdStrike consumers, but for those that rely on other people that rely on CrowdStrike. The Points Guy recommends if your flight was delayed or canceled to check with your airline and credit card company you use to book in case you're entitled to reimbursement for food or hotel stays. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Back at home, the outages were also affecting health care providers. Earlier this morning, MultiCare released a statement about the impact of the global cyber outages. They said in part, quote, all elective surgeries at both Deaconess and Valley Hospital that were scheduled for today will be rescheduled for a later date, but emergent and urgent procedures can and will be performed safely. They went on to say that the emergency rooms at Deaconess and Valley Hospital will remain open and MultiCare's Indigo Urgent Care will be open for walk-in patients. They will be contacting the patients who are impacted. And Providence shared a statement on how the major cyber outage has affected them. They said in part, quote, our IT teams have been working overnight to respond to the issue and have restored key functionality in the Epic electronic health record so that nurses, physicians, and other caregivers can access patient records and perform clinical documentation documentation. They went on to say that other workstations are still impacted, but their IT is currently working on that as well. Alrighty, today is another weather impact alert day. It's going to be a hot weekend and we're pushing some records. Is that correct, Thomas? Yeah, and in fact, as of today, 
We're going to hit our record tying 15th day in a row of 90 or above. We're probably just about an hour away from that, and it's not just 90 degrees. We'll be close to 100 as it was yesterday and well into the 100s for this weekend. The weather impact is obviously the extreme heat with high temperatures up to 106 for today and the next three days after that, and this was expected as well. Heat advisory is now upgraded into excessive heat warnings through this weekend as temperatures will be above 100 degrees for Sunday. That will be our hottest day at 106. That is extremely hot. And to put that in perspective, the historic heat wave from three years ago put us at 109, and that was the all time record high. We're just three degrees shy of that. So it feels like it could be within touching distance of another historic heat wave for this weekend. As for today's day planner, it's just hot and hazy for the rest of the day. Yesterday was 99 degrees and today's forecast is also 99. So just as hot as it was the last 24 hours. But remember the weekend ahead is so hot that you're going to want to hydrate and take some breaks with some air conditioning because we won't get relief until the mid part of next week. All right, now to some continuing coverage this afternoon. We're tracking an early morning arson at a car wash on South Regal Street. Take a look at the damage caused by this fire right there on your screens. Investigators told Krim 2 the fire started outside the building and then crept into a wall. Once the fire was in the wall, it spread to the car wash. No one was hurt in the fire and investigators say the fire was caused by arson. They're also investigating a potential connection to the ACE hardware arson from last week. And still ahead, a bear spray assault at a woman's front door caught on a doorbell camera. An exclusive interview with the victim up next in the next two minutes.